I have been spending the last few days working in my closet and there's hardly anything left. But I did find this. I didn't even know I had this. And I'm like, ew, I don't want it. I've been trying on clothes for like three days. And instead of saying, yeah, I think I might wear that sometime. I think I'm going to keep it. Here's my line in the sand because I'm tired of having a closet full of clothes that don't make me smile every time I see them. I always tend to be looking for the same clothes over and over again because they're so comfy and they feel good on me. So, um, and we're going to talk about this more later um, with one of our questions, but I did want to chat on this just a bit. So I have decided to streamline my closet, not so much a capsule wardrobe or a minimalist closet, but I only want it to contain things that make me smile. Now that doesn't mean, hi, Michelle. That doesn't mean I'm going to keep outfits that um, that not necessarily make me smile, but are outfits that I have to have. So I've uniform or not uniform. I have clothes for um, like funerals. I have clothes for weddings. I have clothes for formal gatherings, and they don't necessarily make me smile because I hate dressing up. But there's still things that I need to keep. So um, oh gosh, thank you. So this is why Michelle is here, so she can remind me of these things. There it is. There it is. Um, so uh, basically I've been going through my closet and I have been really strict with my parameters. So I look at a shirt and I'm like, if I don't like the way it looks on the hanger, it immediately goes in the giveaway pile. Now, lucky for me, I have a friend who dresses like I do, sort of hippie slash um, bohemian slash uh, workout person because I have sweatpants on. Right now I have sweatpants on all the time. Um, but she dresses like me. So it's great to know that I have somebody I can hand my clothes over to. So I, I, here's the thing. There's a couple outfits that I've only worn two or three times that I paid a lot of money for. And there is no way on God's green earth I would be able to donate them to charity with, without it driving me insane. So now that I know I have a close friend. Hi, Sandy. Now that I know I have a close friend that likes my style, that wears the same size I does, I do, and, and really likes my taste in clothing, it makes it so much easier. So I'm giving her some things that I only wore once. And when I wore them, I'm like, yeah, I don't like the feel of this, or I don't like the look of it, or, or it doesn't flatter me, or it shows my fat rolls. <laughs> Those things I'm getting rid of. And it makes it so much easier easier to let go of it. When you know you're giving it to someone that is going to be giddy when they get your clothes. So I highly recommend you find a closet buddy that you can give your things to and not freak out that you're giving it away to charity. Now, another bonus of that is, and Michelle, this might help you, is if you accidentally get rid of something that you're like, oh, I should have kept that you could call that person and ask for it back. So there is a bonus to that, but that's neither here nor there. So I have to tell you guys, uh, the way my closet is, and I've shown you my closet before, I have two rows of clothes and it's just my hanging shirts, my sweaters um, I have on a shelf and my pants I have on a shelf. So just my shirts used to be two rows that are probably almost four foot long of clothes and they were shoved in there. I had so many shirts. Now I have one row and nothing is shoved. It, it There's like, openings in between my colors. It looks so good. I look in there. I'm like, oh, I love everything. I look in that closet. It makes me smile because I love every single thing that's in there. Closet buddy. It's my new term going forward.